How's it going, YouTube? We're back with some more NBA Supercard. I was going to say Pokemon, but we're not doing that today. Uh, <laughs> that video's already up. Please go watch it. Um, but I will give you guys my, I guess, take on the first event. It's This game has been out for nearly a month already. Uh, and the first event just ended yesterday. <clears throat> wow, voice crack. Just ended yesterday. I was able to get uh, the uh, event card. Uh, with I think like still like 12 hours left uh, I did have to spend some credits I think I, I spent 200 credits I probably could have done it without it had I stayed home but I did go hunting this past weekend so like you know I'm hunting <laughs> I can't you know be continuously tapping on my screen even though I every now and then I I was you know just tapping on my screen a bit playing a bit of it but I could have done it more efficiently had I stayed home but it's fine my dad was able to shoot a bug so we came back with some meat, but uh, my take on it. I wish I could have showed you guys uh, the event, you know, results of it and stuff, but I guess I'm not. I guess I'm unable to. But one thing I want to mention real, real quick, even though I'm pretty sure it has already been, like, said and brought to people's attention. But one thing I noticed when I got, where is she? When I got this card, when I pulled this card, something I noticed, like, almost immediately was that right there on the bottom, uh, over, wait, does, does, does it capture my, my my cursor? No, it doesn't. Okay. I'd rather have it do that so I don't have to edit it. Uh, so, right on the... Where's... Where's... The, okay, right here. Pfft, stupid. What? It is! It is to capture my cursor. Oh, is it because it's not... Like, I'm not on it? Yeah, that's why. Okay. So, this right here, right? S1. Now, I know I've mentioned before in the past whether this game will have... Will be like, you know, my NBA or like, you know... It'll have like a, a new app every every year, right? And I've said it, or or it's gonna be like like WWE Supercard, where it's just they're gonna progressively add more tiers, more the the stats will be you know higher numbers, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And I think they are, based on this the S one, because what that tells me, the only thing I can I can think of that being, is like saying like season one. So season one of NBA Supercard is this. Now, it, it might actually even be in WWE Supercard, but because I don't play, I don't know. But I want to bring that to people's attention. Just, you know, kind of curious. Maybe maybe you guys do know, and you guys can let me know what that means. But as soon as I saw that, I was like, wait, does it have it on this other theme card? And I was like, no, it doesn't. But because I was looking here in this area, I'm like, no, it doesn't. But then I saw here, I was like, oh, it does. I'm like, does it have it on the regular cards? And it does. So it's like, huh. Is that what that means? And then I checked in the event card too. It does. So it, it, it has me thinking, right? Like maybe it can be. But what I wanted to, what I wanted to bring up, uh, up as well, it was that. That was the, that was the main thing. And the the event, right? Two things I had noticed during the event after I recorded the video, right? The last the last video was that I was like, wait, there's no way to pro. Our event card, our KD. So this is so we just have a, a, a cool looking card that more than likely we're not gonna use. Because well, I mean we will use because he's still like better than you know, as you can see a lot of these emerald pros that I have here. So I can still use him, but I mean a pro would have been better. You know what I mean? Uh so that's something I noticed that, that they didn't they didn't give us two KDs. They didn't allow us to get two KDs. And the other thing, what was the other thing? The grits or hot streaks, as they were called previously. They uh I didn't like that they that they forced they forced a reset, you know. Like, for example, you you get a you know a gold or better card, the board resets, right? You're always guaranteed at least a gold or better or gold or you know your top eight, you know, tier uh yeah, you're pretty much top eight tier, whatever you're at, right? Uh, or I guess yeah, gold or better is still still viable as well, still works. Uh, but that's when your board resets. You're all because you're always guaranteed a gold or better card, right? Uh, and that's how they, what, I pressed her, jeez. Uh, and that's how they did it for the for the grits. They allow they they forced a reset. So like if you if you pull the grid off the board, it reset your board. So one thing, the reason I don't like that is that because I, oh no, what is that trade? I'm going to have to check that out later. 
fantasy, dude. But uh, the reason I don't like that is because I feel, right, that it takes away from your chances of getting, you know, your Sapphire card or your Emerald card, whatever tier you're in, uh, Gold card, whatever, right? Whatever tier you're in. <laughs> well, I guess if you're in Gold, it doesn't really matter because, I mean, come on. you, you, you It's pretty quickly to, to, you know, grind up this game uh, where you can get up to Sapphire or Emerald pretty quickly. But, uh, like, like it lessens your chances of getting that dupe, getting that, getting just a reset. I feel like it does. That's just me. I don't know. I don't know if, if the math works, if that works, you know, with what I'm saying or not, because I can't do math. But that's just my, my take on it. Uh, and what was the other thing? There was one more thing. Oh, 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 a suggestion. A suggestion. Jesus Christ, I can't say that word. But you guys know what I'm trying to say. Uh, that I think NBA Supercard should do is because I do, I love, I'm going to say this, you know, over and over. I love the fact that they're doing, they're making these Steam cards and they allow you to pull them off the board. Now it's limited, which makes sense because, well, I mean, they're still, you know, they're still a game. They're, they're, they still want to make money. It's a company. It's a business thing or whatever. They still, they still want, I lost. <laughs> so they still want to make money. Uh, but the reason they give you the like like it's very smart because the reason the reason they allow you to do that they allow you to still pull off those to pull those cards is so you get you know you pull the card right like me I pulled that check I forgot her name uh, let me see real quick what is her name Elena I can't say D D Deladon I think but Elena right uh, let's say you know I pulled her right like I did just right a while ago a few days ago uh, it entices me to want to purchase you know for example this pack that's actually pretty solid odds it's just that it's super expensive <laughs> dang because <laughs> yeah there was one for like 250 and 200 and it was like one percent and two percent it's like bro no no not that game um and like eight percent and nine percent for the emerald too so it's like no no uh but it entices you to to do that right to want to buy these you know these packs uh these themed packs but what i think they should do is like, because they've been doing four, right? For for the winter for the winter one and the 2021, the new year, uh, theme cards, they they allow a limit of four. What I think they should do is either they have like two options, just to like make it cool, make it more make it more exciting, right? Is they guarantee they, they they keep you the four, but they guarantee you, uh, at least one dupe, you know, or they can they can make it to eight and guarantee you two dupes. You know, or or make it eight, yeah, and make and make and make it, make it two dupes, yeah, yeah. That's because I feel like I had I feel like I had another one, like like I had made it better. I don't remember what it was though, but I feel like that's what sh that's what they should do. You know, like at least guarantee you a dupe with uh, with these with these event cards, so that way you know it entices you again even further more to uh, to buy it, because you'll see that oh dude look at this dupe it's really good, you know. And you can then, you know, buy some packs and whatnot. Even though I highly recommend you guys don't do that. Uh, that's just me, right? I'm not going to spend money on this game. I'm just not. Uh, I'm really just not. I'm, I'm just not. I'm just not going to. Uh, like I already said, maybe. This is a big, big maybe. Maybe I would if I know for a fact that this game will be like WWE, WWE Supercard. And even, at, even then... I'm still gonna be like, mm, mm, I don't know, I don't know. But uh, I, I still, I still love the fact that they're that they're doing that, that they're allowing you to pull these themed cards off the board, bro. Off the board. I haven't pulled another one. I, I still only have uh, Elena. But hopefully in the future I can pull some more. You know, because uh, I don't know when it when it expires, when it's over. I don't know. But I would like another one. <laughs> Cause they look awesome, dude. They look just—they look amazing. Whoever is making these these uh, themed cards, whoever is one of making these uh these calls needs uh needs these cards, these cards, not calls, uh needs a raise. Oh, dude, oh, I hate this. I don't like this, man. I don't need them anymore. There we go. But yeah, that that was pretty much my take on the event. Uh, this is actually pretty solid too, honestly. I believe you're guaranteed a pro. I feel like that's what it said. 
Yeah, yeah, it says, it says what happened to the Nets? Oh. Uh, yeah, so it contains two copies of the following, of one of the following. Like, that's pretty solid, bro. That's pretty solid. I mean, you have a really high chance of getting gold, but, like, that's what you do, man. When you open packs, you take that risk. Uh, but, like, at least 10, you have at least 10% for a Sapphire. And 34 for an Emblem. Like, those are solid odds, I, I would say. For, like, you know, this pack, and it's a decent price. I mean, it's not that expensive, I don't think. I mean, how much are these packs again? So, I mean, 20 bucks. I feel like they should have, they should have one for 10. They, they should have a pack for 10. For the credits and whatnot. But, remember, watch the ads. Watch the ads for the free packs. Okay? Claim your free pack. Watch the ad. Uh, and that's about it, man. Um, That's all I wanted to mention. That's all I wanted to bring to you guys' attention. Was about, yeah, that season one thing. And the my take on the event. Uh, also, something else I did notice as well. There wasn't anything for the team. There were no team rewards. And I'm not sure if they're going to have other... I'm not sure if they have different events or if they're still going to have, you know, through your gauntlet, uh, uh, the Rivals Clash, uh, what was the other one? Uh, King of the Court. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see, though. You know, because I, I know those were like the three, you know, those were like the three main ones. And then they had different ones like the, the like, like where you were like a coach or something. I didn't like that event at all in the slightest. Uh, it was too complicated. I liked what they were trying to do, you know, new event and whatnot, but I didn't like it at all. But that was pretty much it, guys. Uh, let me know if you guys got the event card or not. It was pretty easy because I forgot to mention as well. There was a, apparently some glitch. I mean, that's what I got from the from the team chat that I'm in. That uh, they were saying that it was a, that there was some kind of glitch that you pretty much went up against the same team every single uh, time. Uh, no matter what, you know, if, if you did plus one, plus three, plus ten, I mean plus five, whatever it was, uh, you're always going to be going up against bronze and silvers, <laughs> which is weird. I'll take it, right? Because I mean, it's a free card, but hopefully they don't they don't mess that up again, you know? Because I still want a little bit of a challenge, but I'll take the free card. Uh, I'm curious as well if they're gonna give maybe a give us a KD later. Maybe they're gonna do it like you know, you get a KD in Rivals Clash, right? You get one KD in Rivals Clash, and that's how you try to get your dupes. Maybe I don't know, man. But that's it for me, guys. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you smash the like button down below. Subscribe if you are new. To catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.